Anyways, I wanted to talk about um, the whole situation with um, with former WWE writer Kenise Mobley. Um, I I just I feel really bad for for this girl. But I have no idea. Like, okay, well I I have to blame WWE because I don't really know like why why the fuck did they hire her in the first place if you know if uh, if she didn't know anything about about wrestling or the business. So I have to blame them for first and foremost. They get 100% of the blame. And I'm saying that because I, I don't think that it was her fault for taking the, all that money. If, if somebody had, had offered me uh, a, you know, a, a contract for this amount of money, I'd take that shit too, if I'm being honest with you. You know, whether I knew about, about the business or not, yeah, I'm taking that money. So I don't really blame her for, uh, for that. Um, also, um, I have to blame WWE because... Um, I, you know, I think that, uh, I, I don't know, I just, I always feel bad for, um, you know, for, for, you know, any minority of any kind losing their job. I just don't really believe that that's necessary. I think that you probably could just could have, like, you know, talked to her on the side and just been like, okay, well, we don't really talk about that kind of stuff, you know, or behind the scenes, uh, you know, or what's, or what our interviewing process is, you know, like, they could have really given her a warning. They didn't have to fire her, like, like what the hell yeah so I don't know there's a, a lot of stuff that they could have done because there's there's other writers too that do, that don't know shit about the business and yet they're you know they're still employed so so that to me it, that kind of screams a bit um of of kind of like not only not only a bit of misogyny but it's kind of misogynoir if I'm being honest with you uh, but again but that's just me I don't know let me know in the comments comment section down below and I'm tired of people kind of making excuses that, that that the Attitude Era didn't really have those kinds of things going on. And I'm like, well, yeah, but the, but that was the Attitude Era. You know, you had people, you know, kind of, you know, of like, you know, Steve Austin and The Rock, you know, and, you know, and, and like Mick McFoley to kind of, to kind of carry that, you know, that entire division. We don't have that now, but, you know, because Vince won't let them off the fucking leash. So, you know, so that's why. You know, you have all these people that that should be stars that that are not stars. So, I so like I said, I, I blame WWE for hiring writers and and all this like you know soap opera uh, drama people, you know to, um you know like to to write shit for a for a three hour show, or or a two hour um you know SmackDown. I just don't really quite quite get that. I I think I think that you know um that you need to hire people that actually know a, about the business. And then maybe the writing won't, you know, won't, won't suck so much. And, um, you know, I, but, I, but again, but that's Vince's problem though. That's not really the problem of, of, you know, of, of someone, um, of, of a comedy writer, you know, or of, uh, of a, uh, a soap opera writer. I just don't, I just don't, don't see the blame in, in, in that, you know, I don't see the blame in, in that person. So, so yeah, I, I, so yeah, I do blame WWE. I, I don't blame her at all. I, I, I just, I just don't, you know, people can argue with me about that, like, or whatever, but I don't really think that she's to blame for that, I, 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 I thought what she said was, was actually kind of funny, um, you know, I, I mean, if I didn't, if I didn't know about the business, I, I would have been like, I don't, I don't know who Bobby Lashley is either, I'm like, who, I would have been like, Bobby who, yeah, I, I mean, I'm kind of, you know, kind of with her on that one, I'm like, I don't know, you know, I don't know, but it's just, <sighs> It, it's kind of frustrating because I, because I know that it was kind of dumb for her to be on there, to be on that show, or on that podcast that nobody has ever heard of. But at the same time, why would you hire someone that didn't know a fucking thing about it? So I'm kind of on the fence about that. But if, but I, I do agree that, it, that the money was good. I, I would, I would take that money, you know, and probably invest, you know, in that. And, and I, I hope that she invests however long of the position that she had that for. I hope that she invests in that money. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe she can do other things with her with her comedy writing or, or her, her degree, you know, or deg the degree that she has right now, I guess, in directing or whatever. So hopefully she can kind of make magic somewhere else. But, yeah, I do feel bad for this woman. I, I really do. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding. I, I really do genuinely feel bad for her. So I, I do stand with her, and, and it's me, it, you know, for me being, a, a, like, an actual wrestling fan, 
I, I wasn't really that offended by it. It seemed it seemed to me that um that that like uh it was probably more more like like crazy ass like you know white white fans or or people living in their mother's basement were were mad at what she said. Uh, me like me, me personally, I, I didn't really give a shit. I I, I thought it was funny, so um, I I didn't really take personal offense to that. You know, um, I think oh, the only people that took offense to that is you know um, you know is 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 people that um, that have have a problem with um, you know with with like with like uh, I guess black women being writers. Uh, or um, or people, I guess maybe the problem is people not knowing kind of why why they're there or or they you know or they don't want to know anything about the business or they haven't seen one episode of Raw or SmackDown. I get that, but you know, but don't call it out of her name and don't don't send her like death threats because that right there is is fucking insane, and it, you should be ashamed of your of yourself. Like stop fucking doing that. Like that like that that shit is whack as fuck. Like stop doing that. You know, I'm, I'm tired of people doing that to people that, that do not deserve that kind of hate. She didn't deserve that. Like, st- stop sending that to her. She doesn't She doesn't know you people. Like, so what the fuck are you sending her, her trash like that? I don't get it. Uh, anyway. So, yeah, I, I really genuinely um, don't understand where the hate was coming from. I think everybody kind of made more of a big deal out of it than what it was supposed to be. And I think it was kind of blown way out of proportion. And, and WWE being embarrassed, well, they should be embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, they, they should be embarrassed because they're not hiring who they need to hire. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, I'd be embarrassed too, but I wouldn't I wouldn't fire her. I would have just been like, okay, well, you know, we are aware of the situation and we need to hire people that actually know what the fuck they're doing. You know, like, I mean, that that's it. But firing somebody isn't really going to help the situation because the only thing that they're going to do is hire somebody else that doesn't, that doesn't know shit about the product or that hasn't seen uh, in anything, uh, you know, about about Raw or SmackDown, that hasn't watched not one episode of Raw or one episode of SmackDown, they're just going to hire someone else to, you know, you know to, to replace her. You know, you do realize that, right? They're just going to hire someone else that doesn't know shit about shit, okay? Well, anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. And, and as always, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, see you later. Bye.